something tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break me. My life is complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. Break me. My life is complicated. I know it looks kind of beat up, but it's mine, Sharon. All mine. No more having to borrow Mom's car, or take the bus, or walk in the rain. Can I eat in my room, Mom? Again? Well, I really need to study for my exam tomorrow. All right. Thanks. Sharon. What? You can't live on bread. But I'm too nervous to eat. Algebra is so not my best subject. Well, have some salad at least. All right. Hey, want to see pictures of my car? Isn't she a beauty? <sighs> Wake up. Sharon? I'm up. You fell asleep at your desk. Tired. Too much studying. Is that all you had for dinner? Not hungry. Too nervous. Good night. Sweetie, it's morning. <gasps> what? Your algebra exam. You need to get to school. Ah! It's over! Oh, yeah! I think I actually did okay. Me too. All I want to do is sleep, practice guitar, watch TV, play b-ball, and sleep some more for the next two, two weeks. weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I need to do now is help find a gift for Maria. A gift? For what? We were being kind of goofy at band rehearsals, you know? Before we shot the video? I remember. Anyway, she told Brock she was feeling like a babysitter instead of a manager. We just want to let her know how much we appreciate her. <gasps> that is such a great idea! What were you thinking of? <laughs> Whoa, later. You're looking at the guy who put the stud in studying. <laughs> yeah, right. Who's in for victory smoothies at Life Cycles? Sounds good to me. Mm, I don't think so. I just want to go home and take the longest bubble bath in the history of the world. Oh, uh, your loss. I was going to treat you to a smoothie. So what are we standing around for? Let's motor. Maria, your helmet's a mess. I know, but they're expensive. Maybe I'll buy a new one when I get a summer job. Maria has to wait till summer to get a new helmet. Isn't that a drag? I guess, yeah. But she needs one now. Oh, right, right. Get lots of sleep tonight, Spitz. The baseball game's at 9 tomorrow, sharp. Uh, why do mornings always come so early? <laughs> Where'd I get these circles? Look at you. Oh, what a beauty. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Just, uh, you know, polishing. If you say so. Hey, you want to ride to the game? I feel like driving, but uh, I don't have any place to go. Sure. I'm having trouble waking up today. Great! Hop in! Uh, it's, uh, kind of stuck. Smooth ride, huh? Lola could drive over railway tracks and you wouldn't even feel the bump. Lola? Cars always have girls' names, Sharon. Isn't she awesome? Did you see those curves? Boy, you don't say half as many nice things about Hannah, and she's your girlfriend. 
Well, Hannah doesn't go from zero to 60 in 90 seconds. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. You think? You better walk the rest of the way. This may take time to fix. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Good luck. Have you noticed that Sharon doesn't seem to have a lot of energy lately? Now that you mention it, yeah. And she looks kind of pale. <sighs> Woo. Come you on, get him, Sharon! Knock her out of the park! Hey! Hey, why don't you just sit out the rest of the game? But I don't want to let you guys down. Actually, not playing would help. <laughs> Seriously, though, you should probably go home and rest. I'm fine, just tired. But you're right, I think I will go home and veg out. See you later. Whoa. <sighs> Excuse me, but are you okay? Huh? No, I'm fine. There you go. Sit here. I really am fine, you know. Right. Here, have some water. Thanks. I only spit in it once. <laughs> Kidding. It's a fresh bottle. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible! No, I'm Cody. What's your name? <laughs> Sharon. Well, Sharon, I should walk you home to make sure you're okay. Thanks, but you really don't have to bother. It's not a bother. Okay. Can I buy you a hot dog? No, thanks. I'm a vegetarian. No wonder you're so weak. That has nothing to do with it. I just finished exams and I haven't been sleeping enough. Hey, Ted, do you have any veggie dogs? <laughs> the best! Great. We'll take one of those and an Italian sausage for me. Mmm, thank you. Mmm, my pleasure. <gasps> Did you hear that? What? The sound of your arteries snapping shut. <laughs> my arteries are fine. I don't live on hot dogs, and I have been known to eat a vegetable every now and then. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm into fitness. I want to be a trainer. Well, and then you should know that vegetarians who balance their diets aren't as likely to be obese or have heart disease. Yeah, but how many vegetarians balance their diet? How many meat eaters do? Okay, but it's harder for you guys. No way! A tofu dog isn't any more trouble than an Italian sausage. Hi. Hi, this is Cody, my brother Adam. Hi, what's the problem? <sighs> I'm not sure. She just overheated on me. Fan belt's loose. You need to loosen the nut on the alternator so you can pull it back and tighten the fan belt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trouble is, the nut's rusty. Oh. Hold on a sec. Why don't I help your brother now and take you rollerblading tomorrow? You into it? Sure. Hey, after you left, we won the game. Oh, we just came by to see how you're doing. I'm fine, thanks. So who's Adam's new friend? Cody, and he's not Adam's new friend, he's mine. I met him on the way home. Does he work out? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? He's such a guy, look at him working on the car. You know, I changed the tire once. We're going rollerblading tomorrow. I can't wait. Um, we really gotta go. Yeah, we're, uh, working on a new song. Call me tomorrow. I want details. You bet.
rest for a minute? No, no, I'm cool. You sure? Yeah. Did that thing that broke yesterday break again? No. I'm happy to report that's still fine. It's something else. I just don't know what. She's got a corroded battery cable. You want me to go with you and get a new one? I'll install it for you. Sure. Have fun. I'll see you later. <sighs> Sharon, you're going to be late for school. Mom, are you all right? I'm so tired. You don't have a fever, but I think you need to see Dr. Pratt. It's no big deal. I'm just tired, that's all. I understand, sweetie, but I really think we should let the doctor decide. Hey, I have a free period. I'll drive you guys. Adam, why is the car making that noise? I don't know, but check it out. If you turn up the radio, the noise disappears. Yeah, I don't think it's anything serious, Sharon. So, I'm not really sick or anything, am I? I want to take a blood test just to be sure. I'll put a rush on it and call you with the results. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, thank you, Doctor. I'll let her know. That was Dr. Pratt with the results of your blood test. And I'm fine, right? Well, it's nothing serious. I knew it, see? But you are anemic, which is why you've been so run down lately. Anemic? You haven't been getting enough iron in your diet. Well, um, I'll just eat more dried fruit. You're going to have to rethink your diet a bit. But I've got a great diet. You know that. Usually, yes. But you were eating badly for weeks when you were studying. You're going to have to make up for it. Okay, I'll eat a lot of dried fruit. Dried fruit isn't enough, Sharon. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry, but the doctor thinks you need to start eating meat again. What? Hey, want to see the helmet we got for Maria? Sure. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, it, it's great. Uh, listen, Maria told me about the veggie thing. I'm really sorry. So, what are you gonna do? I'm not sure yet. I really don't want to start eating meat again. I hear ya. But, you know, it might be a good idea. Why are people in such a rush for me to stop being vegetarian? Look, Sharon, I'm just worried about you feeling so crummy lately. You used to be able to get through a baseball game and not look like you were about to fall over. I've gotta go. How you doing? You should just go on. I can't walk another step. Very chivalrous. Thank you. Well, I wasn't going to leave you alone on that rock. <gasps> it's so beautiful up here. You want to sit and rest for a bit? Yeah, I could use a break. Me too, so I can carry you back down the hill. <laughs> <clears throat> Very funny. <laughs> you know, even though it's not for me, I really do understand your vegetarianism. Really? It's really weird. You're into eating meat, but you totally understand how I feel. Not like some other people in my life. It's just because they care. We all want you to get better. Yeah, me too. I should have been able to get up a dinky little hill by myself. I'm gonna have to do something. Ugh, I still don't like the smell. How are you supposed to eat that? You're barely dealing with the smell thing. I know. Now all I can think about is a cow happily grazing in a field. Okay, I'm, I'm going for it. No thinking, no smelling, just... Can't do it, can you? No! Ah! Sharon, vegetarianism is very important to you. For a gazillion reasons. 
maybe you should think about it some more, you know, before giving it up. Thinking about it isn't gonna help me get better. What am I gonna do? Mmm! What are you making? Asparagus bean stew. Oh, you're gonna love it. And guess what? It's loaded with iron. You put meat in there? No! I went on the internet and researched ways of getting iron as a vegetarian. You're kidding! Can I taste? Sure. Mmm! <gasps> and I got a lot more recipes. Oh, Mom, that's so great! Look, I'm not out of breath or anything. <laughs> I can see. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. I always do this. Thanks. I think you're okay. Hey, I'm gonna go grab a dog. You want one? Sure. Nah, you rest your knee. I'll just be a minute. I was thinking, what if you ate meat once a week? Mm, what for? As a safety net. Then you could be a veggie most of the time and still make sure you're getting the iron you need. But, mm, I can get all the iron I need without meat. There are lots of meat eaters who are anemic and lots of vegetarians who aren't. I'm going to be one of them. Woo! This is spicier than usual. It's a tofu chili dog. You don't like it? I'm just not used to so much pepper. <laughs> Boy, is she gonna be mad. <laughs> yeah, but only till she sees the new helmet. Shh, shh, here she comes. Someone stole my helmet. You're no kidding. way. I mean, who would want it anyway? It was all wrecked. <laughs> Uh, I don't see what's so funny. Well, does this help? W what's going on? <clears throat> Mangled Metal would like to present you with this token of our appreciation for all the work you've done for us lately. You guys stole my old helmet? Uh, don't think of it as stole. Yeah, it's more like replaced. <laughs> wow! Um, I'm just curious. What did you do with my old one? They donated it to this charity that provides sports equipment to needy kids. Great! So, did Maria like the helmet? She didn't seem as thrilled as I thought she'd be. I know. I don't get it. She really needed a new one. Well, maybe she just has to get used to it. Yeah, that's probably it. Feel like a snack? Sure. Two tofu chili dogs, please. You know, the spicy ones? The only thing I have that's spicy are these Italian sausages, and they're made with meat. Are you serious? I ate one of those! Hi. How could you do that to me? Do what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm, uh, going to go inside and, uh, eat something. You lied to me about the tofu chili dogs! I did it because I care about you. You were sick, and now you're better. I was already getting better. One Italian sausage didn't cure me. I know, but I don't think you're going to get enough iron in the long run as a vegetarian. I was only trying to get you used to the taste of meat again. I don't want to get used to it. What about protein and all the other nutrients you need? I can be perfectly healthy without eating meat, and I don't want to be responsible for killing animals. If you cared about me as much as you say you do, you would have respected that. Okay, I'm sorry. What else do you want me to say? Nothing. Yeah? I heard you come in. Is everything all right? Yeah. If losing your appetite forever is okay. What's going on? He lied to me. Cody? About the veggie dogs. They were meat. Oh, Sharon. I don't know what feels worse. The fact that I ate meat, or the fact that I trusted him. I can understand you feeling bad about both those things, Sharon. And I don't feel like eating ever again. Well, maybe you don't, but I think your stomach has a mind of its own. And if you decide to listen to it, I have a lentil casserole in the oven. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I'll just have a bite. Hey, hey, 
Listen, I'm sorry about the helmet. I'm the one who talked the guys into it, so it's my fault. Oh, <laughs> don't be sorry. I really like it now. You do? Yeah. Well, okay, at first I was kind of bummed about losing my old one, but look, what happened? Brock borrowed it to go skateboarding and went flying, so it's not all shiny and perfect anymore, which makes it look more broken in. No way, dude. Mine was an accident. Yours was just dumb. Oh, what happened? Dude sprained his wrist lifting weights. They really do need a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Adam, there was no way to save her? Fixing everything that was wrong would have cost way too much for a beat-up old wreck. <sighs> Even one I loved. Drag. And another thing? I'm not getting friendly with any of the guys you go out with anymore. Why not? I really liked Cody. And now he's gone. Between that and the car, oh, it's just too much. I know, Adam. I know.